Well, good evening and welcome back to Elmarva. The Rehoboth Beach Board of Commissioners approving a price hike for parking on Rehoboth Avenue. Now, city leaders say it's all in an effort to balance next year's budget and address the $4.5 million deficit. WMDT's Tierra Williams has the details. Paying for parking isn't a foreign concept, but how much is too much? Today I had a chance to speak with City Hall representatives and local business owners on the recent spike in the Rehoboth Beach parking prices. It's quite an expense for a small business owner to be, have to buy parking passes. Laurie Orfanides, owner of Sunny Bay Cafe located on Rehoboth Avenue, purchases parking passes during the summer season for her full-time employees. However, sometimes she says they can't even park at their own business. A lot of our clientele you know, come in early and they take up a lot of the front parking spaces. A lot of places that are not that fortunate and they have to walk blocks and blocks just to get to their business because of where they're allowed to park. Evan Miller, assistant city manager for Rehoboth Beach, says every business is entitled to one free parking permit. However, Orfaniti says that decision doesn't benefit every business. A lot of businesses in town that have more than one owner that is on site daily and it's a shame that they don't take that into consideration when handing out passes as well. Miller tells us the 30% increase in permit pricing will cover the cost of summer concerts, beach beautification, and other capital improvements. And that meter parking will go up from $3 an hour to 4 It's important that we look at all revenue sources to make sure that we recoup the cost of providing those amenities and services. Orfaniti says in the past she's even paid out of her own wallet to help her employees offset parking fines. She calls it an unfortunate situation for everyone. Well, it was $275 last year, and this year I bought uh, $325 parking passes. Um, I feel it's outrageous. Whether the increase will prevent locals from visiting downtown is yet to be determined. I, I don't think we're concerned about it deterring the locals. I think, um, again, largely what we hear is that um, the visitors are the ones who come and largely will feed the meter. The locals will not come. We already have locals that are telling us that they'll see us in the fall um, because they're not willing to pay. So that is one downfall of being here on the avenue. Here in Wehoboth, Tierra Williams, WMDT. Now looking ahead to the summer season, the owners of Sunny Bay say that they love their locals and they hope that they keep coming back. Meanwhile, city parking and transportation officials in Rehoboth Beach are discussing the possibility of a parking garage and changing meter and permit enforcement hours. Moving on here, but staying in Delaware tonight, a Dover woman is facing charges following an incident at a local middle school. Around 3 p.m. Wednesday, a school resource officer at Dover Middle was notified that a suspect inside the school had a gun. The suspect, identified as 50-year-old Angel Lake, made contact with police and Lake found the police found that Lake had an unloaded gun and a magazine. During the investigation, police learning that Lake was at the school attending a pre-scheduled meeting with staff and that Lake was prohibited from possessing a gun. She was taken into custody and released on multiple charges. Well, it's National Nurse Appreciation Week and a local nurse is encouraging you to show some appreciation to a special nurse in your life. Nursing can be a very demanding job and finding time for yourself can be difficult. Director of Nursing for the Wicomico County Health Department, Olivia Butler, says showing a nurse that you care about them and appreciate all the work they do can make the world of a difference. Now, something as simple as a word of affirmation or as big as a kind gesture can help make their day. For those that really don't get that recognition that it is just important to just say, hey, thank you for what you do. Thank you for your work. Um, you know, you're making a difference and maybe just ha letting them have time to themselves. Yeah, and Butler adds that this weekend may be a little extra special for the nurses who are also mothers. Well, the Camden Community Garden got a refresh as members of the Newton Community Center Garden Club gathered to plant some beds. Newton Community Center Garden Club is made up of school age students and yesterday those students got a chance to get their hands dirty planting vegetables. Pastor Martin Hutchinson, founder of the Community Garden, tells us that it's a valuable experience for the children to have. We're really as a society out of touch. 
with where our food comes from. We think it comes from Foodline and Acme and Walmart, Sam's Club, and it does, but it has to be grown somewhere. Absolutely. Now, Hutchinson, who you just heard from there, says there is nothing better than fresh grown vegetables. He also stressed that they're important for our health. Well, at this time, we're going to throw things over to our chief meteorologist, Rich Wurzik, who's standing by. Rich, we are looking at some much cooler temperatures. You got that right, Rob, and uh, we're going to be looking at numbers below average for a couple days, really counteract that summer like week that we've had so far. But something I wanted to start with here, an amazing view that's happening actually over top of our area right now. It's just unfortunate we've got the clouds around an overactive geomagnetic storm. Um, uh, overperforming, I should say, from the original forecast. The northern lights are visible in a lot of the U.S. right now where the skies are clear. And I've already had a few friends from Ohio send me what they're seeing. And these, this is not a filter. This is just straight up what uh, Kristen Atkins McNeely just saw in the Xenia, Ohio area. Uh, just a few miles down the road in Beaver Creek, Ohio, Jen Haney sends me this photo. Just wonderful shots happening all across the area. And I show you here about that geomagnetic storm. When I say overperforming, it was forecast to be strong, but in the past couple of hours, it's actually set to be one of the strongest ones that we've seen in about three decades. So you can look here, the northern lights low on the horizon all the way through the mid-Atlantic. And uh, now, and I showed this back during the news hour, the long exposure uh, cameras, some of this can be seen as far south, but the problem that we have right now is that we have this stubborn cloud deck right here that just will not move away. I've already heard about some photos coming out of western Maryland of some vivid lights. Uh, we still have the night to work with, though, for the chance to see at least a little bit of that late. So if you're going to be up before sunrise, you might be able to catch that because that's when I think the clouds will finally start to move out, unfortunately. See all the clear skies here off to our west? Next system, it's already on the tails of this one here. That one's going to give us a chance for some showers for our Mother's Day. Running more than 10 degrees cooler than we were 24 hours ago, but the major cool down arrived earlier today. We haven't uh, cooled down much from today's very cool high temperature in the 50s. 49 in Salisbury and Georgetown right now, 54 out of Ocean. City. So high temperatures through Mother's Day weekend being below average here at 73, which is uh, our average this time of the year. And we're going to be back near that number in the next week, you see, with uh, some better chances for showers and storms returning. Low end chance for rain tonight, maybe some sprinkles and mist. Uh, that's about it. And you see the clouds, they finally move out, but uh, right around sunrise is when we see that happen. Tomorrow should be a partly sunny day. I expect a couple showers to come in after sunset. And then our Mother's Day is just going to be like this, scattered hit or miss showers, maybe a thunder shower, no severe weather expected, just a few issues out there on the roads. Mid to upper 40s for tonight, clearing late, low to mid 60s for tomorrow under a partly sunny sky, showers arriving after sunset. Mother's Day, a high of 67. Monday will be total sunshine after a start in the 40s. It'll be a nice recovery to the low 70s for the afternoon. And then we talk mid to upper 70s Tuesday into Wednesday. Chance for a shower thunderstorm begins to increase again, an unsettled pattern where it's not going to rain in your location every single day there more than likely, but that outside chance of a shower storm will be with us at every point for the middle and late part of next week. And the ocean or the seven day forecast out near the ocean there, some decent beach afternoons next week as we start to warm up. We've got more DSI coming back on the other side of the break. Stay with us.